Have you ever found yourself so deep in a coding session that comments became an afterthought? It happens to me all the time. And I always think, I completely understand this code. I can write those comments later. Unfortunately, I usually forget to add the comments. And while my code is legible, it can take me a while to translate the code into understandable comments. Luckily, Gemini Code Assist can now help. Gemini Code Assist provides code transformations, which allows me to troubleshoot code with issues, improve code readability, make code more efficient, and most helpful for me, generate comments. In this video, I will use Gemini Code Assist's code transformations feature to understand code I wrote when I was revisiting data structures. In this file, I was learning how to create a binary search tree in Java. You can tell I was learning because I creatively named my file solution.java. I remember being so excited that I started writing code that had nothing to do with binary search trees. But I don't remember why I chose specific implementation decisions. For example, I don't remember why I have two different methods named contains. Maybe Gemini Code Assist can jog my memory. I'll request that it explain this. Ha, huh, that's why. The public contains method checks whether a given value exists in the binary search tree, and it relies on the private contains method to recursively search the tree. I love that Gemini Code Assist goes beyond that and comprehensively explains the code, including adding an example and summarizing with key points. As I continued to evaluate the code, I noticed something interesting. I added a comment on line 118 when I first wrote this code. I wonder if Gemini Code Assist can determine whether my comment was correct. I was concerned that Gemini Code Assist might think I was asking it about the entire file, but I love seeing that it shows the code block it analyzed before providing the analysis. Look at that, my comment was inaccurate. Better yet, Gemini Code Assist has recommendations for me to fix the code. I'll be sure to address those in another video. After a series of print methods, I noticed that I created a file formatter. This is where my excitement got the best of me, and I started writing code that was completely unrelated to the assignment. Because of that, this section is confusing to me. It requires too much context switching to figure it out now. So I'll ask Gemini for help. Whoa, this is different from the prior suggestion. Gemini Code Assist essentially went line by line and explained both the method and many of the individual lines. As I continued scrolling through the file, I noticed another instance where I added a comment. In this case, however, it was a to-do. I vaguely remember this. I recall that my logs were written to files that did not follow my preferred naming convention of treelogs.txt. Instead, the files include a numerical suffix like treelogs.txt.1. When I wrote this, Gemini Code Assist did not exist, so finding the answer was quite the challenge. Clearly so, because I never figured this out. Thankfully, I have Gemini Code Assist, so I asked it to explain this entire try block and will follow up with another request. Help me resolve the to-do comment. Interestingly, Gemini Code Assist just educated me on how the file handler class works. It appends a number to the original file name. And Gemini Code Assist just exceeded my expectations by giving me two ways to resolve the underlying issue either delete the existing file or use a different file name. Now that Gemini Code Assist helped me understand the code, I want to transform it. In this instance, I've asked Gemini Code Assist to help me add comments, something I should have done when I first developed this code. Gemini Code Assist made the changes and they look great. My code now includes comments. That's how Gemini Code Assist's code transformations feature can be used to examine code I wrote years ago. Gemini Code Assist helped explain the code, added comments, validated the accuracy of existing comments, 
and helped me resolve an outstanding to-do. If you have code you need to revisit and transform, click the link in the description to learn more about Gemini Codis's Code Transformations feature and get started today.